All right, hi guys, how you going? We're finally on the road now. We're taking on a border track in this trip. So we're gonna be doing it across four days, four or five days. We'll see how we go, take our time. We're heading out with uh, three four wheel drives. I've got uh, Lionel as my uh, co-pilot. <laughs> um, in my car, uh, Jared in the Land Cruiser, and Gary and Zach in the, um, the Ford Ranger. And it's a red one too. Oh, we won't hold that against him too much for the trip. We're gonna rev him hard though. <laughs> so yeah, so we're heading up to Renmark. We're heading up to Lindsay's Point. Where we'll be camping for the first night. And then basically we'll simply work our way down for the track. For the track is a one-way track. You must run it from north to south. And when we, for tonight, we're basically just gonna be heading up there. We're gonna get there in the dark set up camp yeah then we'll get up the next morning and basically head to McCabe's corner so that's the most northern point of uh, Victoria where it intersects with um, New South Wales New South Wales yep so uh, that's the plan so I've got a bit of a, a feast organized for tonight and yeah I'll give you a, a look at that and we'll, we'll do a quick look at my new kitchen setup so with the kitchen we've got again dual burners we've got two liters of hot water running cold water got the king, rock in the king's oven fridge freezer um, she's fully decked out I've done a few trips with it now and it's um it's exactly where i want it and then every night along the trip there'll be something special prepared each night followed by a nice dessert so hopefully all goes well and then along for the track itself you're sort of restricted in that you're going down one straight line all the way down but there's quite a few deviations along the way which we'll check out we'll see how things go and then also we'll end up ending up at the narrow court um, caves which i'm keen to see um, so we'll see how that all, all pans out all right so hopefully all goes well we'll um, check in tonight um, once we get there it's going to be late <laughs> so uh, as long as we have a campfire going a nice good feed Convo tonight around the campfire. All right, see you soon, guys. Cheers. Now I've got to say I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about for the track, um, and most of them have been negative. So, but I think by the time you get to this um, video with myself and the guys, you'll gain a new appreciation for what for the track does offer, and the variety of different terrains um, and experiences you can get through. And again, don't rush it, just, just take your time. Um, like I said, we did it um, sort of over about five or six days, including some other bits and pieces. And I think if you do it this way, you'll, you'll really appreciate it and you'll, you'll actually have a great time. Anyway, off to uh, our next stop. I think you missed your turn off, uh, Dave. There was a senior citizen sign back there. Alright guys, um, nice little stop, just uh, stopped off, have a cup room and some lunch, cracked up in the kitchen. So now we've got about a three, three and a half hour drive to Mildura and we'll end up stopping there just to refuel, and we'll toilet stop and then we'll um, another hour or so off to Redmark and Lindsay's Creek where we'll be camping for the night. Um, we should get there just before sunset or maybe just after, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, nice run all the way. This is us waiting on the side of the road for the Ford Ranger to come back with some fuel because uh, stupid Dave uh, discharged the fuel again.
Ford Ranger to the rescue. Ford Ranger to the rescue! Legend. There you go. Good mate! Fancy! Just hanging around here. Fancy meeting you here! Alright guys, so thank God for Gary and the, the Ford Ranger. So, um, like I said, do not underestimate um, a headwind and also a lot of the way um, heading this direction a lot of it is definitely uphill so it does generate um, a little bit of fuel consumption this next section now need to be very very mindful that depending on the time of year you come through here a lot of these sections potentially will be underwater all right so we're driving through water at the moment okay then have you got your snorkels going
Sites. That's the water there. Oh, let's hope the mozzies stay away then. Let's not park under any tree limbs. I think where you're just pulling is probably the best spot, but what we'll just hell is that? do a quick it's drive. It's some kind of an antenna. Yeah, So we've got the option of going here or where we came in. I reckon here is fine. Done deal. Circle the wagons as they say. Alright, so we've arrived at camp. So I thought I'd best start cooking. All the boys are setting up. So we've got, um, tonight we've got marinated Korean chicken. I did all that last night. One and a half kilos for five of us. So we're all cooking up on the grill. Single body. Nice little caramelization on there. Get some good. Smells good too. Right hand side is going to be quicker. Get our flame. Yeah, they're all both. They're both pumping. This will cook really quick. And over here we've got, we've got a nice salad coming up. Some groutons, some Greek feather, some honey mustard mayo. And if the guys want wraps, they can have wraps as well. So yeah, that's tonight's feed. So good morning guys, so this is uh, where we ended up camping for the evening, so I finally got to see it um, in broad daylight, beautiful sunrise happening off in the distance. So this trip I ended up not bringing my swag with me, I brought my um, new hiking tent, which um, I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with. <laughs> nice and compact, easy to set up um, and super comfy. 
but uh, yeah, simple campsite. Um, this is often how we, we camp when we, we do our trips. Um, everyone's generally in swags, nice and simple. Um, I've got the kitchen um, at the back as you saw last night. I able to cook up um, a nice dinner each night. Again, I love cooking, so um, I tend to volunteer to do it of an evening. I love cooking for friends and family. So you'll see that um, in all of them, my videos. It's um, when you um, get up in the morning to see beautiful sights like this, it's um, definitely worthwhile. Prerequisites for me when we go camping is always campfire, um, good food, um, good friends, maybe the banter around the campfire. We ticked almost all the boxes last night, so no campfire, but um, and, and that's fine. Sometimes um, you're gonna come across campsites where you just can't have them, and you gotta do the right thing. Um, in this particular area, there are some designated campfires, and they, they do provide fire pits. So as long as you um, keep an eye out for those, then, then you're fine. But um, yeah, absolutely stunning. So if you go for a bit of a walk through this area here, it's just absolutely stunning the amount of, I suppose, different um, types of trees and uh, again, a lot of these trees have been here a bloody long time. There are some huge monsters um, and again, obviously let's grow wild and into all sorts of different directions. Um, they look absolutely amazing. Um, I could wander through here for hours just checking out um, all the nature and all the vegetation. It's um, simply stunning. So where we've camped here, this is actually Little Mullaroo River. Um, please forgive me for the pronunciations if I've stuffed it up. But this um, feeds off the Murray River, which is not too far away at all. And um, the, the deal is with this is the Murray River is actually the Victorian New South Wales border. So it basically, you know, wiggles its way through and then the border actually follows it to the point where you get to actually McCabe's Corner, which is where we're trying to get to um, later this morning. And that's where basically <laughs> in the middle of the river is the intersection point. So if you want to touch it like many of the other corners around Australia, um, you got to jump in. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a marker there or, um, or not, but that's the hope to go and find it um, today. Morning, guys. What a beautiful part of the world. What a beautiful part of Victoria. It was quite surreal driving in, in here last night through the darkness. I suggest if you're game, definitely come in here at night time. It was quite strange. It was quite amazing um, driving through here into the darkness because you weren't quite sure whether or not you were going to make it or not. Um, looking at Google Maps, there was large sections of the track um, underwater, basically. Uh, and it looks like a lot of this area um, definitely floods at certain times of the year is impassable. We're sort of traveling uh, late August at the moment. And uh, yeah, it was pretty perfect. It's quite surreal driving into the campground here and not quite knowing what to expect. So we sort of set up camp just on the river. Had a bit of a feast last night, just a nice relax. But yeah, had a good feed. Wake up this morning to this, uh, it's absolutely stunning. A lot of this has been untouched, I think, for quite some time. Some of the trees through here are, are absolutely amazing. Some huge, huge, beautiful trees um, through the area. This nice, nice lake flowing through the area here. Teeming with bird life all the way through is just, you can hear them. Uh, they, they wake you up nice and early. It's absolutely beautiful. We're only about maybe um, 30, 40 minutes from uh, Redmark. So we'll end up heading into Redmark to refuel before we start the big trip. And we're going to head up to McCabe's Corner, which is the most sort of uh, northern point, the tip of uh, Victoria, where it meets New South Wales. It's actually in the middle of the river, <laughs> the point. So. Now if I'll uh, hop in and, uh, for a dip uh, to get to that point, but uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll head there this morning as well. Like I said, refuel in Renmark, uh, and then we'll begin the board track journey. So, all right, I'll go wake up the boys and get breakfast going, and then uh, we'll pack up camp and head off.
All right. Uh, I'll let the adventure begin.